Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, I hope you guys will enjoy this content. I know that the channel looks like it's fairly new, but for some of you guys who have been here, you know that this used to actually be a beauty channel or random related channel. All of those videos are now disabled because this is now changed into the wife life. I was married when I was doing the beauty videos, but now I have entered a new stage in my life and I have decided to change the content in this video to something that's a little bit more relatable to the stage that I'm in and something a little bit more achievable um, to the stage that I'm in. If you guys uh, didn't know, I had no kids. First of all, thanks to God and to science and all these wonderful doctors, um, we are now expecting a baby. There's a tiny little baby inside of me. And I am currently 29 weeks, I'm going on 30, but I'm 29 weeks at the moment. And after four years trying, um, thanks once again to God and to science and all these amazing doctors, I am now expecting my little girl. Uh, yes, she's going to be a little girl. And if you guys want to know more about um, my journey, my infertility journey, I'll be more than glad to make those videos for you guys. Just let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely put that in one of the videos to include. I decided to do a more laid back video, you know, and tell you guys my five pregnancy essentials. They're going to be a little weird, but these are my five pregnancy essentials and I swear by all of them and yeah. Without further rambling on, let's get into the video. Seem, first of all, if I seem like I'm out of breath in this video, I am so sorry. The truth is, I am out of breath. I I can hardly breathe because of my pregnancy. But the number one thing, all of these things that I have here that I'm going to show you guys today, these five things, I seriously feel so highly about them that they're all my number ones. Like, it's not in order. Like. All of these are my number ones and some of them have been at different stages of my pregnancy and some of them have been throughout my pregnancy but um, if I were to rate them all they're all a 10 to me all of them <laughs> but anyways let's get started with this thing that I have in my hand so the first thing is you want a body oil you definitely do not want any creams jellies or things like that the reason being is because those just sit on top of your skin or they only penetrate so deep they don't go through all of the layers of your skin they just um they kind of just sit there and, and get absorbed but not to the extent that they should that's uh also with lotions they kind of just sit on top and they feel like they moisturize but they don't get deep in your pores or into your um the layers of your skin. Stretch Mark Oil that I have, this is specifically for Stretch Mark. This is the Body Boost Stretch Mark Oil, which you can get at Motherhood. Um, I got this for $15. It's an eight ounce bottle, but look, it's I still have all this left, and I have just used this little bit in my beginning of my pregnancy, or my 30 weeks, so this, is, this will last you quite a while, and I use some heavy pumps of this. I use this on a daily basis and I swear by this the reason I swear by this is because I have not gotten one stretch mark for my pregnancy at all like at all I I swear by this I know it's still maybe early on I don't know what to expect further on down the line but to this day I have not gotten any uh, stretch marks so I re definitely recommend you invest in oil like I said as opposed to creams, lotions, jellies, things like that. Definitely invest in oil. The next thing that I have is books. Um, not just one particular kind of book. I got this book. I was going to get the, um, what is it? I'm ex No, what is it called? What to expect when you're expecting. But I didn't like, I like pictures with books. I'm such a kid at heart. I love books with pictures. So I decided to pick up this one, which is called I'm Pregnant. It's a week by week guide, which is obviously what I wanted. 
but it kind of it shows you pictures in here it's um you know it has some fairly cool what to expect and ship it basically a week by week guide like it says it tells you what to expect each week of your pregnancy it even goes a little bit into child um care or once the baby is born how to take care of a newborn it talks about different medications that you'll be using throughout um it talks about different tests that they'll do at your prenatal visits. It tells you what to expect on each visit, things like that. So I really, really, really enjoyed this. I know that you can um, look it up online or you can download an app or you could even get a book, like a digital book on your phone. But for me, it definitely helped to have something to go back to and look at as opposed to going on the internet kind of looking up, oh, what to expect this week or this week, you know? Or even the apps. I feel like the apps aren't that into detail as this was. But I definitely recommend this book. Not just any book. I recommend this one. It's the one that I used um, as far as knowing what to expect throughout pregnancy. The other thing that I think is just... It's an essential to me because I'm a memory person. I want to have memories of everything. I want my little one to uh, be able to look back on something once they're older. You know, I... I loved having all my home videos and things like that from when I was a child and I, I want my child to be to have the same because I those are things that I loved. Um, so in this book it's basically from Peter Pumpkin. It's a pregnancy journal. You t put in week by week how you're feeling. You fill in the blanks. There's places for you to put ultrasounds and you just basically put how you're feeling, how dad's feeling. Um, things like that it tells you the size of the baby and you just go in and fill this in every week and I just I feel like it's like a nice little memory book to have the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is heaven on earth you know like this I, I'm sure this is what heaven's gonna feel like if I ever make it there this is amazing this is called the snoogle this is the ultimate pregnancy pillow it's um quite it's not very it depends on what you consider expensive it could be a little pricey um i know i got it for 70 dollars yeah i believe it was 70 dollars at motherhood so it's quite a bit if you think about i'm going to spend 70 dollars on a pillow but this was the best investment ever and <laughs> my husband was the one that actually gave it to me so it was the best gift he could have ever gave me and it was the best the best um, investment he could have made <laughs> towards his wife. This thing is amazing. It doesn't come with this cover. The cover was separate. I believe the cover was $30 or $20. That was, that was overpriced, but I didn't want it to get dirty because it's white. But this thing is amazing and I'm going to tell you why. I'll insert a picture of how you sleep with it which I sleep with it every single night. It doesn't take up much room. I thought it would, but it does not. Um, but let me show you why it's also amazing. You can also basically roll this thing. Sorry if I'm covering my face. You basically can roll this thing. Let's see if I get it right. And you can actually put this around yourself. When you're watching TV, it is so comfortable. I don't know why this thing, having this thing in front of you, it's like you have an armrest and then the you have um, cushion in your back. It just feels so good. And the best thing about this is that you can actually use this once you have the baby because it works as a boppy. So you're able to breastfeed with the baby here, hold the baby here, things like that. I feel like it's it's not going to be a waste of money because you can use it in the future. Um, so this is something that I definitely love 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 and it's so amazing that i feel like i'm gonna use this even when i'm not pregnant and my little baby's kicking and kicking <laughs> i'm gonna leave that in there just so i can remember this the next thing that i'm going to show you guys is going to look a little bit strange so this was number three number four on my list is going to look a little strange you're going to be a little skeptical about it as i was but that is that is this thing right here. See this thing? This is called the Dream Belt. It's basically made out of a t-shirt material. It's very stretchy. There's not a lot of support to it, which 
when I ordered it, um, which is supposed to make your dreams, it's supposed to make, it's called the dream belt because it's supposed to help you sleep at night. It's supposed to fill in the gaps of your stomach so when you lay on your side, um, your stomach's not kind of hanging there or kind of like in the air. Like your body's not really supporting it. It gives, the little pillows give it support if that makes sense so you're, it's not all on your body. Um, I, when I ordered it, it looked different online, and I, when I got it, I was a little bit bummed out about it, just because, like I said, this is a very thin t-shirt material, which is probably see-through, you can see, and it has these cushions on the side, so it basically looks just like you have cushions on the side, on the side of this. It has this adjustable belt, so you can definitely adjust it throughout your pregnancy so you can use multiple stages with that throughout your pregnancy I have been using this for going on two weeks now and like I said I was very skeptical about it um I actually used I actually have a Fitbit I have the very first Fitbit so it's really old but it tracks my sleep and the nights when I didn't wear this belt before I got it I would get up at night use the restroom or I would just sleep two to three hours and wake up and be awake for 15 to 30 minutes and kind of go back to sleep. I just had kind of an insomnia you could say. Once I got this belt I did not wake up the whole night like I will try to insert my Fitbit tracking thing here but I did not wake up at all like at all like I slept soundly through the whole night. I didn't even use the restroom which I was like that is amazing but yeah like it's crazy because I was so skeptical about it but this definitely changed my pregnancy it definitely made it it made me gain my sleep back so this was also a little pricey I got it on Amazon I believe it was like 30 32 dollars I'll link everything down below but if you are having trouble sleeping I definitely recommend you try this I hope it works for you like it did for me but yeah so the next thing that I have is going to be weird it's this is the weirdest thing on this list and it's not something I'm currently using this is something that I used throughout my first trimester I was lucky enough to not experience any morning sickness I don't like I did not throw up once my um morning sickness was very light nausea like I, when it came to really fruity smells or like strong smells my stomach would kind of like spin like we say in Spanish se me revolvía el estómago but like it just came in that gave me that like queasy feeling but help me and <laughs> I am no doctor so this is probably not the best thing for you to use as it is a, it does contain a lot of salt and sodium so it's probably not the best thing but it's something that helped me it definitely helped me the acidity of it helped me and that is lime salt you can pick this up at your local liquor store and this little bit of um, this salt just helped like at night when I was sleeping and I, and I would kind of wake up with that queasy feeling or even throughout the day I just put a little in my hand like so and put it in my mouth and that acidity lime taste helped like it it helped control my stomach it just it made me not feel sick anymore so I swear by this but if you did like the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you want if you have future recommendations leave them down below I'll definitely be doing a lot of pregnancy videos just because I want to document my pregnancy especially now that I'm in my third trimester and it's getting real so comment down below and um yeah I will go ahead I'll see you guys in my next video bye